Ooh, this is something I haven't seen been spoken much about in the other videos. You can request a C1 label for your Mini 4 Pro. And you will be able to legally fly your drone at night with external LEDs that otherwise would push uh, the limit of the drone above 250 grams. Yesterday when I was testing out uh, the new uh, update of uh, the DJI Fly app, the 112.8, I was doing this on uh, the smartphone and with my uh, Mini 2, which I accidentally crashed in the process because the software was only available for me uh, on uh, a smartphone device. In the same relation, I asked you if there was anything new that I uh, should look into and one of you wrote me that after installing the DJI Fly and RC2 firmware, if you press the service button, there are a few new features. And one of the options is that uh, you can request the CX label. I have not been declassifying uh, my uh, Mini 4 Pro, but let's just see how far we can get into the process uh, requesting this label. And uh, yesterday I managed to uh, yeah, get everything updated. So now I'm running on the smart controller here and right now I am hooked up to the aircraft, which is a requirement as far as I understand. So let's press the service button here. And then we get into this new nicely organized uh, service uh, section where you can see all sorts of uh, good stuff. It's basically very nice that DJI has decided to yeah, put everything in one place. So if you had uh, one of your drones sent in for repair, you can see the progress of, uh, of um, how it's going. And it's also the service progress with me, <laughs> with the code is getting better. <laughs> so let's just see uh, if there's anything in the record for me. So confirm, Europe, Denmark, yes. So yeah, yeah, that's a very, very long time ago. You can see back in 2017, I had uh, the original Mavic Pro in for repair. I had some really nasty gimbal uh, shakes that was uh, seemed to be prone for that model. So I had that one sent to Holland a few times uh, to see if we could make that work. Okay, so. We could probably make a separate video about all the stuff that you can do from this section, but I, I would highly encourage you to go in and explore that by yourself. But the reason why we're here is that we want to use this CX label request that's in the center here. So if I press that, it will do its thing. So you can see now it pops up with my Mini 4 Pro and it comes up with my delivery address. You can modify that address if that's not the correct one. And I don't know what these two options are. <laughs> so they say here, it says the C1 label will be shipped within 20 working days. You need to update or upload three photos for approval. Left front arm with the label sticker, left side of the aircraft with the label sticker, a battery compartment with the blank label sticker 5. I don't know what these numbers are referring to and I can't see the full picture here. So I don't know what's what's going on. But let's take this. I'll take one for the team. <laughs> and submit it and see what happens. <laughs> application number. Then I get an application number and uh, the identification label is expected to be shipped within 20 working days. You can check the status through the repair, da, 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 da. Track your application. You're getting into this part of the process. So you can see the application has been received. The label has been shipped. That's pretty fast. <laughs> that seems to be quite a mismatch in the system. But let's say a photo to be uploaded. So let's just read the process one more time. So submit the application via the DJI Fly app. That's done. Receive the label. So I guess within 20 working days, we will get the label. Stick the label, I guess, on the drone. Install uh, the propellers. That's only for the Enterprise Edition. And then you need to upload the photos as, as proof that you have done the work. Approve and download the certification three days after uh, the upload has been done. 
So these numbers that were referred to, uh, yeah, before, I guess those are on the, the labels that you'll be receiving in the mail. So you just need to follow the instructions. So if it's for the Mavic 3 series, so the left front arm should be with the label sticker 3, the left side of the aircraft with the label sticker 4, and the battery compartment with the label sticker 5. So that's pretty straightforward. Let's see uh, once I get the labels in the mail, uh, what everything looks like. I will do a follow-up video uh, around that. That basically means that if you have declassified your Mini 4 Pro, which was, uh, I guess, still an option to do, uh, taking off the C0 label that's here in the base and provided proof for DJI and by that received a firmware that will sort of declassify the drone, you can now upgrade it so it will be a real C1 drone. And what does that mean? That means that you would need an A1, A3 drone certificate to be able to fly the drone legally in EU. And you will be able to legally fly your drone at night with external LEDs that otherwise would push uh, the limit of the drone above 250 grams. But that's basically the only difference. You still need to register yourself as a drone operator and you still need to uh, stick on uh, the drone operator number on top of the drone. But on top of that, you need to have the A1, A3 drone certificate to be able to fly the drone legally in the A1 airspace under the open category. So I don't think we will get much further than this. Let's see what we get in the mail and then I will do a follow up video on this. And in case that you're wondering if this works with the, the Mini 3 Pro, as you can see from this screen recording, it will not allow you to submit the application because basically because the product is not being recognized. I would not be surprised if this would be the method that will become available a little bit later so you will be able to get a C0 label for your Mini 3 Pro as well. Also, if you missed the video that I made testing out the new Fly Spot feature, that was the whole main feature of uh, the 112.8, then I'll make sure to link that video through this card. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.